Sanderson Penn <laughs> podcast episode 224 for Wednesday, April 12th, 2017. This is Brian. <laughs> and this is Lisa. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Last night at dinner, uh, Eric and Brian let me know. Was it breakfast? Dinner. I don't know what you're talking about, so I can't help Next you. Next <laughs> week is Atlanta. When did that happen? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we haven't been home that long. That's it. I want to quit shows and just stay home. I want to sleep in my uh-huh. own bed every night. How's right. that? Good for you. All right. Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so Atlanta's next week. Uh, Yikes. Actually, we're leaving a week from today. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are leaving a week from today, and every year we make this special pit stop slash pilgrimage. Yeah, about the last four years. Yeah. I think about four years. Uh, we stop in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and we go to the National Corvette Museum. And it's a, it's a cool museum. It, it really is. is. It if is. you haven't been there now, if you haven't been there, it's, uh, you know, it's a cool place to go at least once in your life. Um, if you like cars, it's hard to beat. And they occasionally do have uh, like sort of a sub-exhibit. Was it two years ago they had some... Planetary, yeah, they had some space thing. exhibit because they bring kids in. Yep. Uh, I think this year or last year they had, or earlier this year they had another, um, another car exhibit, but non Corvettes. And so it's, uh, you know, it's just a cool, it's a nice stop. It's a, they it's allow a, that. they do, <laughs> they do, um, but uh, it's a, it's a nice drive there. It's not too long, and then we can get some rest. And we get up in the morning, we have breakfast, we go to the museum. Uh, we were there about an hour or two. and um, Get in the car and then get finish the, car the drive to it's, Atlanta. It's five hours <laughs> to Atlanta. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, it, works out, it works out pretty well since we don't usually do things like that. That uh, um, and, and actually, we, we sort of stumbled upon it a couple of years ago. Um, that, the museum? No, that, oh. it was, that it was really the perfect a distance. Good, so. Yeah, a good little stopping so. point. We will re- renew our business membership there. We will. And, uh, go see the rest of the family. We'll see the rest of the family. So The car family, that is. So, uh, anyway, so that, yeah, that's coming up. Atlanta Penn Show uh, next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Jimmy and puts on a good show. He does. Jimmy, Jimmy and family. Um, his daughter, Suzanne, um, is, is doing a lot of work now with the show. And uh, very, very friendly show. They have a uh, cookout. Are they doing the cookout again this year? I'm pretty sure. Uh, every year they have a cookout, and it's 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 Yummy. on the, it's on the veranda, as they say, um, and that's uh, ten oh five. In case anybody's keeping track, um, but uh, brats and burgers and French fries, and you know, they've got a guy out there cooking, and uh, it's usually nice weather. So we're we're fingers crossed that it's going to be beautiful weather um, this weekend or next weekend. You know, down making the drive, um, Atlanta kind of is the beginning of good weather for the rest of show season for us. Um, And I like because when we leave Appleton, uh, you know, the grass is mostly brown, partly green. But as we go further south, um, it gets greener and greener and greener. And by the time we get to Atlanta, spring is really here. And uh, for those of us who live um, pretty far up north, it's, it's really nice to see all the flowers and, mm-hmm. and blooming trees. It's, it's really a nice little mental vacation. Um, and then we get home. A couple weeks later, we have Chicago. And after the Chicago show in early May, our real spring starts. We get out the patio furniture. We take the storm windows off the, off the windows. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So, but there will be pens at the pen show. There will be pens at the pen show. I have always bought great pens at oh, the Atlanta man. show. Always. Yep. I've always found great pens. Most of them have been Omas, but I think those days are, those days sadly are long gone. Yes. Um, but uh, good stuff. There's always good stuff there. Um, a couple of vendors there that you don't see at any other show. So mm-hmm. um, if you're in the area, I highly recommend it. It's a it's it's a decent size. I would call it mid size. It's not it's not DC. It's not LA. But, it's busy. Uh, it's a busy show. It's well attended. There's lots of lots of like-minded individuals. Um, there's a nice little uh, wide open bar area afterwards. So if you want to go and chat with your friends, um, it's a it's a great place to, to chat and talk talk pens. So yep. um, good show. Great 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 show. So that's coming next week. Uh, tomorrow. Oh my god. 
good. We have... <laughs> 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 the, the, I just want really, one night to myself. <laughs> t- t- tomorrow's really is the warm up, you know. So uh, tomorrow is the uh, Appleton Pen Club meeting for April. So those of you in the neighborhood, uh, I don't know what the topic of discussion is. Do we have a topic for tomorrow? I think it's a play date. It's just a play it's date. Just bring in whatever you've got that you're enjoying and and let everybody else play with it. I'm okay. pretty sure it's a play date. And it's going to be at Lou's Brews, which is uh, a couple blocks down the street from the store. Get there early, the um, line gets long for drinks. Yes, so, uh, but nice uh, nice place. Uh, they've got a nice little upstairs. I think that's probably where we're going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, so go in, head upstairs, get your beverage and go upstairs. But uh, usually fairly well attended, and we end up moseying back to the store and then um, talking more pens. So We do. Um, that'll be fun. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, a bunch of regulars that have pretty much hit every meeting. So, and we've we've been doing this now for for a little bit. So, it's been great. It's really awesome to have Kim organize it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> if it were us, it wouldn't happen. So, uh, that's tomorrow night. Uh, time is seven o'clock. I think. Yes. Seven o'clock till whenever. Um, and then Friday, if that wasn't <laughs> enough, uh, for those of you who have seen us in. San Francisco, L.A., uh, Denver, Denver, uh, we occasionally have helpers. And for those three cities, we have had, at least in the last year, um, our good friend Jason, uh, which is different than our photographer Jason, (laughs) um, who's probably laughing as he listens to this. But uh, It'll be good to see Jason. Jason's great, yes. And meet his wife and... uh, I don't know why they're coming out. Do they have family in the area? Yes, I okay. believe so. So. Um, so it'll be great for mm-hmm. uh, Jason to see the store. He's only mm-hmm. ever seen the setup at shows, and so it'll be, uh, I think, fun for him to see mm-hmm. everything in its in their natural habitat. Well, you know, J- Jason and I are very much alike. Um, we, we, we click we on a number of levels. both have no levels. willpower? Well, <laughs> 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 yes, there is that. Um, uh, Jason, Jason, uh, works in, works in IT. And, uh, so it, it's fun. Sometimes we're, when we're at the show, we can chat about IT, but, uh, he is a huge, huge pen nerd, um, and a big, big fan of sailor and king of pens. Um, so, you know, it will be fun to, uh, you know, cause sometimes you're at the show and even, even if you're standing next to each other, you're just, all you're doing is really waiting for the next person to come up and talk. So, uh, we don't get a chance to talk all that much one-on-one with them. Um, so it'll be fun to not have to worry about, well, okay, I got to take care Customers of this. Customers. Yeah. So, uh, he's a great guy. If, uh, if you are in the neighborhood and you, and you, you've, you've met Jason, just stop on by the store. He'll be in. Yeah. He's a sweetheart. Friday, we so. love him. Yeah. Just brilliant. Brilliant guy. Oh, and it'll be fun for Jason to meet the gang. We talk yes, about everybody yes. on staff mm-hmm. when we're away at shows, uh, especially to Jason, um, and Steph who also helps us out. Some of our more regular helpers, you know. They've, they've learned more about us um, over time. But it'll be fun for Jason to meet the gang. Yeah, yeah. So looking forward. I'm really looking forward to that. I've been uh, – he told us that to us a, a few weeks ago, and I was like, oh, man, i got to wait three weeks for this. Come on. So um, that'll be fun. I'm totally stoked. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we'll be able to go to din- dinner afterwards mm-hmm. and, uh, and chat some more. So uh, I know how it is when you come back. You know, you, you have – even if you have a week off and you, and you travel to go see uh, family, it's – Every minute of every day is usually scheduled, and you get back feeling, you know, where did my vacation go? I know yeah. it's, I know it's rushed, so uh, we'll take what we can get. Um, That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, and we, got, I've got a little little surprise for him that I've uh, concocted together. Oh. So he will be, he will be excited, excited to see that. So a really cool pen. He's will been, his wife be excited? Uh, you're gonna escort her <laughs> out, and you're gonna show her the plaza, <laughs> and Jason and I are gonna talk sailor. Is what's gonna happen. Uh-huh. Um, so I, he's going to cross off something off of his, uh, his, uh, I hate to use the word grail list, but wish list. So anyway. So if he's listening, he's not going to find out. Uh, well, he, he pretty much knows we're going to make okay. it happen. So. All right. Just saying. <laughs> he's working. He's working. He's busy. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, other stuff in, in happening this week, uh, that's been pretty exciting. Uh, Monday. It's been a crazy week. Monday was nuts. Um, actually, I forgot to put something on the script, but we should talk about it. Okay, go. Uh, the first thing is uh, of, of note, and we've been waiting for this oh for... Oh, my God, forever. How long? How long has this been out of stock? Months. It was, what, j- June? June, July. Has it been almost a year? Yes, uh, because I was out of town. I was oh, visiting right. with uh, Richard Binder. 
um, doing his nib workshop last summer, and that's when the Mont Blanc William Shakespeare Inc. came in, and, and it, it, it came in and went out in the entire in the week that I was gone. Um, in fact, had we not actually saved two bottles, I never would have ever seen the thing. Yeah. Uh, and then it never came back in stock. Um, well, Monday, lo and behold, actually last week I had seen a seen a leak that it was maybe it was in in Texas, and uh, Monday morning, lo and behold. We get a call from our rep, and he says, oh, you've got X number of bottles come in. And uh, I went downstairs shortly after that, and there was X times two. So we got twice as many nice. as he thought we had um, in stock. And it's really a really nice, nice color. It's a, in, in fact, I helped Kim um, fill your pen this morning. You did what? And <laughs> oh, is, it, is, it, is it in this Mont Blanc? It is. Did she clean it out? I don't know. I hope not, because that's really... Oh, that's nice. Uh, it's really a nice brick it's, red. I'm going to put that right here. It's very pretty. Um, not too burgundy, not too purple. Um, it's not too dark. It's it's a nice, uh, I would call it a brick red. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid color. It's really... Now, the, the thing with Mont Blanc um, special edition colors is when they're gone, they're gone, and you never know. So if you've been debating... Grab a bottle. Yeah, and, um, and, and and if it's something that you think you're going to like, grab two because once it's gone, they may not tell us, and then yeah. we may try to order, and then we discover yeah. it's it's discontinued. So if you're considering it, I would order sooner than later. Yeah, the thing with the JFK last couple last couple months ago, that was a complete fluke because we we had assumed that was completely gone, and then they messaged us and said, "Listen, we've got JFK in stock," and I mean that had been. A long time. A long time. So uh, that was that was a fluke. We've never seen that happen before. But this Shakespeare is uh, it's beautiful. It's really really a nice color. Um, yeah, yeah, we're nice excited dark, to dark have burgundy. it. What else is new? So what else is new? Um, Aurora eighty eight flex is in um, two colors. Finally, blue and red. Yeah, it's finally here. Uh, we've been talking about it since uh, the L.A. show, and they had it on on display in L.A. Um, really, uh, you know, so basically, basically it's on the, the 88 platform, piston filler, um, gold nib, of course, and uh, it's... Pretty colors. Pretty colors. They're solid colors, you know, and they're going to come out one each month in a different color. Uh, personally, I think the two best colors are right here, blue and red. There's the blue, uh, but take a look at this nib. Um, and this is the red. That's the nib. So you can see the low shoulders, long scooping tines. That just, that's flex right there. You can just tell. Um, and I think this is probably the best modern flexible nib since the Ogiva. I, you know, I'm no one to judge because I don't do flex, so that's that's totally you. Um, I do know that Aurora makes amazing nibs. I'm a big Aurora fan. I have quite a collection. Um, <clears throat> I, I think that, you know, we got to see a demonstration mm -hmm. from the man who designed the nib in, uh, we got to see him in L.A., uh, and that was really cool. So if, if you've thought about a modern flex nib, this is the one to go. This is the one to get. Yeah, and, and the, th the thing that's interesting about this pen is, is that actually with some pens you have a problem with the ink. The feed doesn't keep up, keep up and this one does. Um, it only comes in one nib size. It's fine flex. Um, like I say, it's very very reminiscent of the Omas Ojiva uh, that had the uh, extra, extra flexible nibs. Um, nice... Very tasteful imprint on the nib. Limited edition, 188 pieces per color. So there's, I mean, it's, this is not one of those Mont Blanc limiteds that has 10,000 pieces. This is seriously 188. So, yeah. um, and that will be each color going forward. So, um, good, nice, nice looking colors here. Uh, speaking of other limiteds. This is cool. I like this. I really like this. The Lamy Safari Petrol. Petrol. Now, this is, um, the plastic body, the Safari, and I like that the Petrol is slightly textured like the Dark Lilac was last time around. Um, it's, it's not the smooth body like the regular um, stock inventory uh, come. So this has just a little bit of texture. It's a really deep teal. Um, definitely not light and bright, 
but it's not so dark that you wonder if it's black or is it teal. It's, yeah, it's you know, really this, pretty. And, and looking at it on the screen here, it's really hard to get, especially in such a small image, it's hard to really get a, a good judge of, uh, of color on it, but it looks better on the website if you go there. But It's uh, really pretty. Black clip. Uh, black, black nib, nib. Uh, it's it's cool I, I really I really like the color I think it's I, I think it's going to be popular uh, unfortunately Lamy doesn't have they don't have they didn't have everything ready at once so we got like extra fine and medium nibs no fine uh, no fine no cartridges no uh, no ink nobody yet. I don't believe that anyone got bottled ink in the states I believe it's coming in May last I heard um, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a hit. It's that's really gonna be a cool color. Very. Uh, uh, this time they did it right. Thank yes. goodness there was no more green this year. Um, oh my God! Enough with the neon, <laughs> Lammy. Seriously. Yeah, you you can put that to rest for ten years. <laughs> a long you know, time. bring it out in ten years and let's make a neon blue or something, and then, uh, and then that'll be fine. But uh, no, this is nice. I'm I'm very pleased with, uh, with the colors for this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I, did you get one of these yet? I believe I did. Did you did you did you discover did you find oh, no, I the did other? Not. Did you find the one from last year, the lilac? I didn't look. Okay, well we got to make sure you have one of those uh, to our ever growing safari collection. Yep. But uh, yeah, very very pretty. I was I was very pleased. Very um, you know sometimes you see the pictures um, as a retailer you you know we receive advance notice and sometimes. Uh, the pictures are not the same as the actual product and and they did a good job. So excellent, and again, no neon. We'll have uh, we'll have these in Atlanta for you to see in person. So, yep. uh, as with the the eighty eight flex too. Uh, moving over to the paper side, uh, cross. Uh, we recently had a visit from our cross rep. And we mentioned a couple podcasts ago. Um, these are cool. They've got some new stuff out this year. So uh, the old Jot Zone, which was. Uh, was a, a, a well received notebook, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a, a sleeve on the bind, uh, the binding for a pen. They have pretty much just. The, the Jot Zone used to come with a little ballpoint. Um, for the new cross journal, they removed that because nobody used it. But there is a, still the um, slot along the spine, so you can insert a pen and carry it with you. It's it's um, fairly slim. You're not yes. gonna put you're not gonna put a large pen, but your your metropolitan will fit in there. And um, if you have a slim you know ballpoint or something, you can slide it in there. The the cross journals are nice. I like the elastic closure uh, around the bottom corner. Uh, the paper is very nice, and the colors they really did a good job with the colors. Yeah. So um, they slim they slimmed it down. The, the Jot Zone had three sizes: small, medium, large, and like twelve different a colors. A bunch of colors and. Um, and the colors were only down in the bottom corner. Mm -hmm. right, right. This time, the entire cover is either uh, a really pretty red. Um, it's not super bright. Those are nice. So you've got um, red, white, blue, and black uh, in just the small and the medium size. And uh, I think they did a good job in choosing um, colors. There's you know no orange, no pink, yeah, no yeah. no uh, uh, professional colors. Yes, you know, but yes. but you know nice um, paper. You know, if you want a white or a red to stand out, you, you can do it. So uh, those are in, and there's, they, they have a, a bunch of things here that kind of all go together. Um, I'm going to skip forward to this one. Uh, we talked about this, and I don't have a picture of the blue, but this is the Cross Peerless with Tracker. You know, she brought this out, <laughs> and I laughed, like, oh, my God, this is so gimmicky. But the more we looked at it, I have to say, it's really freaking cool. Um, the ballpoint has basically a find my pen um, little tracker inside. And uh, you download an app to your phone, and it'll beep your pen. Or you can press the button on the pen, and it'll beep your phone. That's what I need. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> I lose my phone all the time. Um, but it's, it's cool. It's done tastefully. It's not this giant button. Um, yeah, here's it, it's a, kind of a cool concept. There's the button on the back. It looks, it looks like a little, like a mini camera, like a little mini camera, a spy yeah. camera or something, but Microwave. they did two new finishes with, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, two new finishes with, uh, with, with the tracker. The blue that we don't have a picture of is Drop Dead Gorgeous. It's outstanding. They need, they need to make that. If they make that in the fountain, pen, I you, think I'm going to get one. You need to confess that when you saw the ballpoint, you said, I think I need this. And Brian doesn't do ballpoints. I don't do ballpoints. I, I, have, I have a couple. I, I have a Retro 51 that's always in my backpack that's like an emergency ballpoint. I actually have somewhere on my desk here, I have uh, one of the first pens I ever got, which is a Waterman Hemisphere in a red marble uh, rollerball. I have that because we have some uh, we have some post-it notes that are just terrible for fountain pens. They're, they're too too glossy. But uh, this is a this is and it's a nice big heavy pen. If it was a size smaller, I would yeah, I would have no. one just so I could find my phone. I tell you, they they put they put that blue <laughs> In the fountain pen, yep. and I, the game is over. So, okay. um, it's, I'll remember that. it's a it's a sweet color. It's beautiful, you know. Um, but you know, the the concept is really cool, and and Cross has really gone all in with the tracker. Um, they also have put it on um, pen pouches. This is cool. This is cool, and it's affordable. Yes, we were surprised at the price. Yeah, uh, it's a little pen pouch. It has uh, a tiny little sleeve inside that you can slide the um, the track R into, and so you can put your pen in there. You could probably fit two thinner pens. Two thinner in there. pens. I mean, it does fit. It fits a large Peerless. Yes, um, or a one forty nine, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, but for those of us who have um, black holes in our purses and you can't find it, it's a nice way to to be able to beep and you know beep your phone and know that your pen is in your purse somewhere down there well when, when she or your brought, briefcase. Yeah, when she brought this out i thought you know the, the number one excuse we hear in the store if i had a nice pen i'd lose it deal over right yep. here because this when she brought this out i was thinking this this thing is going to be 60 75 bucks leather case it they match uh, they come in red blue and black uh there's no white but they're the same colors as the journals right um I thought these were going to be 60, 70 bucks. You know I mean? I mean? How can they not be? They're what, 30? They're 30 bucks. Yeah. I mean. It's a nice little <laughs> pen, know. nicely lined inside. They did a good job and it wasn't what I was expecting. Um, yeah. My problem is I don't know if I want the blue or the red. Yeah, and it's, you know, the, the, the technology is cool. You sync Bluetooth with your phone. It is kind of nerdy and cool. Um, you know, and if you leave it, you leave it at a coffee shop or something, and somebody else who uses, who has a, a tracker device goes in, that the network picks up yeah, the signal, was... so it, 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 it sends you an alert, basically that you, the last known sighting of your, your pen or your pouch was at such a place. It doesn't tell anybody that it's there, but it, cool. it picks it up from the network, detects it, and then sends you a message that says, okay, somebody else was in, in the coffee shop, and that's where they, that was last seen. So, yeah, it was cool. Um, yeah, I like it. It's uh, it, it's cool. So Cross is coming out with some cool stuff. You know, Cross um, Cross isn't necessarily known for innovation. Um, innovation. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of the pens um, are very similar looking. They're very classic. Um, Black, very very classic. Silver. This is cool. So yep. kudos to them for working on a find my phone, find my friend, find my pen kind of app. Yeah, and they you know and you know the the ballpoints. A couple, couple hundred bucks, 250 yeah. bucks. Um, and it's big. They are working uh, toward the end of the year. I know they are working on something that's a little less expensive. Uh, might be nice in the gift range maybe, but uh, you know, you, maybe you don't want to put a $250 ballpoint in your, in your, in your briefcase. But uh, um, I'll be curious to see what they come out with for a cheaper, cheaper version. So, mm -hmm. uh, couple other new things we just got in yesterday. These are divine. Um, new Retro 51 Slim uh, Rollerballs in three gorgeous new colors. Uh, the Moonstone is a like a silvery charcoal gray. The Aquamarine, I think I have to have. It's really pretty turquoise. And the Lavender is uh, a really pretty lavender purple, but it's, it's not too pastel. Um, there's kind of a brushed silver trim. They're really cool. Those just came in. Um, what else came in this week? Uh, well, the big news that will you'll, you'll see it in the newsletter if you haven't uh, if you're watching this late. Uh, uh, we got our <laughs> just technically it's our first bespoke shipment uh, that we ordered 12 months ago. Woo! 
uh, finally came in on Monday, and that was exciting. So, um, and, and including in there, uh, there are about six, uh, six different models, I think, including 1911 standards, which have since uh, have been discontinued mm -hmm. in, uh, under Bespoke. Um, so they, they stopped making the small size 21 karat Naganata Togi nibs. Uh, we got some black and rhodiums. The maroon and rhodium is killer. It's cool. It's really a lovely combination. Is in that fact, a standard size? It's a standard size. Yeah, 1911 standard. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm trying to see if we can get that pen with even regular nibs because it, it's, it's too beautiful just to not have. Um, so those two in standard. I could put... <laughs> <laughs> Here goes. Here goes everybody. The maroon and rhodium mm -hmm. in a tracker, you could. and then I wouldn't lose it in my purse. In your new purse. The That's, there you go. There we go. Um, Excellent. So those are nice. I'm trying to see if we can get get at least the maroon and rhodium or the black and rhodium. They don't make them in, in the regular line. Uh, if we can get those in with regular nibs, it would be a shame if they, they just discontinued the whole thing. But uh, So those are in uh, very limited quantities, very, very limited quantities. Uh, 1911 large, transparent with gold trim, transparent with rhodium trim, uh, solid maroon with gold trim, which in the standard line you can only get as a lefty, or it's special order. We've had them from time to time. But these are all Naganata Togi nibs, medium fines, mediums, broads, um, and the the best, yeah. king of pen, oh ebonite. Um, Somebody please buy these because otherwise they're going to be disappearing from the case and into Brian's I, pocket. I love these. These are super pets. I think you're done for gift giving I'm, I'm events not. for the year. I'm, I'm good. I'm good through summer maybe, but uh, <laughs> black with gold trim is such a stunning pen. Of course, the ebonite is bandless. Um, the clip disappears into the cap, so there's no ring. Um, Naganata Togi nibs. They're just fantastic black with rhodium we have one left we've already sold um already sold one yesterday but uh so yeah so there's some there's some really cool stuff um that just came in and it's very very limited so it's uh what is available is on the website yes uh, as is where is we're not expecting another shipment another order for july july august i think is the next the next shipment that we're getting in so um and then Pretty soon after happened. that, then it's going to be it until next year. So, so please buy them before Brian steals them all. <laughs> I'm, I'm inter asking. I'm interested in the Naganata Togi medium black with gold. So you can take the medium fine and the broad, <laughs> and that would be <laughs> just, just take it, please. Just fine. No, so good stuff. Um, be on the lookout for that. Uh, that'll be in the mailer on Tuesday. So. Other than that, uh, just the typical, you know, restock from Twisby and Retro. We've got a bunch of Pilot coming in. Seven hundred hours um, have been a little more popular than I thought. Yeah. You know, um, you know, seven hundred hours always. It's a little bit more money than the five eighty, and I think we saw this the first time around. The number of people who want a vacuum filler pen is a little, you know, seems to be a little less than wants the the piston. But uh, I don't know if it's a price or it's a. You know, there's a little bit of a step on that pen, so. Um, but uh, they, they've been they've been going well, so mm -hmm. I've been surprised. The other thing to remember to check out on the website are the experienced pens. Those have been going well. I yeah, think. we have um, we have a few in there, and, and I put them in when I can, when I find them. Um, right now, we've got uh, what's left uh, after yesterday. Uh, a number of Namiki Falcons, black gold trim, um, and uh, broad nib. For whatever reason, I have a number of broad nib Namiki Falcons, hmm. um, and these are. You know, they're either old stock with old boxes um, that are 10 years old or, you know, there's a little scuff or something on the barrel. You just can't sell it as, as new or, you know, uh, it was a return from a customer or something like that that we've cleaned up. Um, but, uh, you know, you're not going to pay full price for it, and it's, it's pretty, pretty reasonable. You know, we have um, quite often Pilot, Sailor, Namiki, you know, all sorts of stuff in there, but... Uh, um, check it out. We put up stuff. We've been putting up stuff quite regularly. So, I think that's it. I think that's it for this week. So, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Tune in next week. Uh, more talk about pens, ink, paper, and of course the Atlanta Pen Show that is going to be uh, happening. Uh, <laughs> follow the blog for news, ink reviews, uh, Kim's hot stuff videos, and all sorts of other cool stuff. And check out our social media as Anderson Pets. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.